Hey, it's Rob, and welcome to this week's edition of Jammin' on the Run. We are fresh off of the Disney Dumbo Double Dare from Disneyland this weekend, and we are going to just be bombarding you with material over the next few weeks. Uh, we got a lot to talk about. You'll see a lot of video, a lot of blog posts, a lot of pictures. Um, it was just a, a great weekend all around, and I can't wait to get to it. So this week, we thought it would be fun to highlight some of the stuff we got from the expo, uh, a nice little haul reveal. So as uh, was an idea from one of our uh, partners, uh, Sarah Hudson. Uh, so I thought that was a great idea to start with, a good starting point to kind of uh, get us going here. But first, we want to give some shout-outs to some people who gave us some comments this week. Is that right, Laura? Yes, that is right. We had a couple comments on our video about Run Disney uh, change in their deferment policy. I will put the link below if you would mm. like to see that video. But Bree Dunn left another comment. Hello, Bree. And she said the no deferment issue makes me super nervous because with my two kids, husband, mom and I all running the 5K, my husband doing the 10K, and me doing the challenge, it adds up to $800 to $900. Yikes. Yeah. So she is really worried about this. But you know what? You know what, Brie? It, it's going to be fine. Everything's going to work out. You're going to go to the race. You're going to have a blast. And then you're going to come back and tell us all about it. So thumbs up. No worries, mate. I and think then, anytime we talk about races in general, we always fear the worst. Yes. 99% of the time it works out. And, you know, refer back to our video, Disney will work with you. Yes, absolutely. And then we have a new watcher named Dee Kingstead. Hello, Dee. Hey, Dee. She is a beginner runner, and she's so glad that she found our channel. She has watched our YouTube, our videos, and we have inspired her. She is in signing up for the Tinkerbell Half Marathon, which I love hearing because that is exactly why we are doing this, because we want to inspire others to have the same amount of fun that we're having. She does have a really good question. Do you have any advice for women runners and how to keep safe while running? That is a very awesome topic, one that we are going to give our full attention to in a video down the line after we get through all this Disney nonsense here. So that, until then, Dee, I am putting some links to some very helpful articles to keep you safe until then. Fantastic. So yes, the Disney Double Dumbo Double Dare, um, you know, it was a little different atmosphere for all of us. We're, you know, Walt Disney World veterans for the most part and mm -hmm. relative newbies to the, the, the Disneyland aspect. Um, so Rob, this was your first Disneyland. My very first Disneyland this was race. First. And, and it, it far exceeded my expectations, which you'll hear plenty about over the coming weeks. Um, oh, it's, it's going to be crazy. What, good place to start is the Expo, right? Because the Expo is where it all begins um, when you're running a Run Disney race. And what we spend our go, money on in our halls. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you have to go pick up your, your bibs, and you got to like you know do the, 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 the legal mumbo-jumbo to, to be able to run these races, sign your waivers, and, and all that stuff. But then it's also a shopping extravaganza. Um, so I figured let's just kind of highlight some of the things that we kind of thought we're cool enough to go ahead and spend our hard-earned money on. So, Jackie, why don't you get us started here? Um, first thing I try to get at every race, one of my favorite items, is typically a race magnet. So this is my first thing that I bought. And Laura got one, too. Did you get one, Megan? I don't know. <laughs> Robert got one? Uh, Yay! Yeah, uh, <laughs> I love this. It's, I, I love got it. Two. It has the year. It has the miles. Oh, you've got two. Cause you got, I got two. All right. Um, I'm sorry, Rob, you, but I got three. <laughs> oh, someone really likes her magnet. Do you and guys should see my fridge. With your, you my refrigerator. No, refrigerator. Yes. It, yes. It's funny because at first, um, <laughs> I bought one at Wynodyne last year, but then I realized it doesn't fit on my car because <laughs> of the way my car is. Only the, like the back lift up on my SUV is uh, magnetized, so it doesn't quite fit with the Mickey style. So I was like, well, that's stupid. I have nothing to do with it. Uh, but then my wife, actually, the ingenious one that she is, started just throwing them up on the fridge, and it's kind of cool. But these are really nice because they're like, what, $8.99. They're so cheap. So, yeah. Right, right. And I don't it's put these on my car because people steal them a lot, too. So yeah. that's Good why point. I have them on my fridge. All right, so what so else did you get, Jackie? Um, I, I well, really well. budget this trip. Um, I almost left with just my magnet, and then as I was walking out, I was surprised they still had um the run disney vinylmations my son collects vinylmations so 
I got him a run. I'll put it up there. Oh. And I just noticed this now. You could put in your finish time on the back. Oh, that's oh, cool. That's great. I didn't but know that. that. And how, yeah, much, so how much was that, Jackie? Oh, gosh. I think they're around 20 I don't even remember. I don't have the box. But I think it was around $20. Is that typical of Vinylmation? Is that what they typically go for? Yeah, I don't think it was any more anymore. But I do know they usually sell out pretty quick. So mm. I, I typically can't get them. So mm -hmm. I was really excited. And I was like, oh, I got to get that for him. Nice. So, and then I got one more thing, which was thanks to Laura, because she heard of a, a deal with uh, Sparkle Athletic. If you brought in a framed picture of you wearing one of their skirts, you got one for 50% off. I can't pass up the sale. So I got myself a new sparkle, green sparkle. Nice. Skirt. So um, and usually when I'm picking colors, I'm trying to think of costume ideas. So I figured St. Patty's Day, Christmas, Grace Rusty, Peter Pan, Christmas, um, even Tink, I guess you can do maybe, just greenish. So nice. that's that's my haul. A little small for, for this mm. run, but I was there the week before, so I had spent some money on other souvenirs. So Yeah, she she was the there run. with her entire family and her mom for like what, seven days beforehand? So Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Jackie was there for like a month. Yeah. I felt I, like. What did you get, Megan? Well, I wasn't really planning on much, but um I saw this shirt. I love I love that, that shirt. shirt. And it yeah. feels so fantastic. And on the back is the back of Happy. I love that. That's great. A little backstory to the shirt. It took you how long to decide on which one to get? It didn't take me a long time to decide on the shirt. What it did take me a long time to decide on was the spark skirt. Yeah. It's going to you got You got to coordinate, ladies. Because, um, and, you know, all of you are getting a little irritated with the whole situation but it's okay because i found one that matched you got the perfect one hey that's a big purchase you got to make the right decision it's a huge but um i i am a huge huge sparkle skirt fan because of the pocket here and the pockets that are attached to my shorts the pockets are everything and they they don't have, not that I'm doing a full ad, they don't have elastic in here, but these puppies don't move regardless of how large your thighs are. So That's nice. it's uh, money well spent, and I wear them not just uh, to run, but it's all I really run in. And then I I also wear them to parks. And yes. Just to mm. Now, you, got, you got the shirt with Brooke, because that's going to be one of your costumes then for what, um, Goofy, right? So, Something. So you are thinking will. ahead. And speaking of Brooke, we have to give a shout out to our ears. They were done by Megan's dear friend, Brooke, who is Bippity Boppity Brooke. She makes custom ears and she did these goofy ones. I mean, I'm sorry, dopey ones for us for uh, last January when we did the dopey challenge. So big hello. Nice. She was also in our running group. She ran with Megan. So very cool, cool person. It's really nice spending time with her. She also did headbands, and this is the monorail fabric, but she just headbands and scarves, too, just nice. to put that up. Nice. That's awesome. All right, so what else did you get, girlfriend? I got one additional shirt. It's the happiest race on earth, um, mm -hmm. and the reason I purchased this is, A, it's a color I like, and it's I can wear a real bra with it is what I call, so most of my bras are, for more information than y'all needed to know, are not teabacks. And um, good support is important, so I needed bras that I can wear, and I don't have to. I can wear the bra I want, so there that's why go. I got the shirt. Very nice. One, real quick, one thing I did notice: um, if people really like your shirt with "Happy" on it in front of the castle, it is prevail. You could buy it online right now. I think at the um, Disney store. So, cool. if that's something, I even thought because I, I kind of was like, I really like that shirt. So <laughs> that I didn't know nice shirt. Very excited about it. I'm very excited about it. And just a little tip, even though we're going to go over this in the expo video, if you have a Disneyland annual pass, you can get a discount. Or if you have a Disney Visa and you have a purchase over $50, you get 10% off. Unfortunately, or DVC. Oh, or DVC. But you can't use your Disney World annual pass no. for a discount at Disneyland. And if you use your Disney Visa, you need to use the Visa to purchase your, your yes. items in order to get it. Oh, wow. But there's no threshold. Usually when you go to Disney World, you have to spend 50 to get it. That wasn't the case on this trip, so yeah. 
with yes. the expo. And a little tip, if you pre-purchase commemorative items, you can have it returned and then repurchase it with the discount. So there you go, tips are done. <laughs> All right, Laura, what'd you get? Oh boy, I was actually pretty good this, this year. You Usually, didn't get as much as I was expecting. Yeah, this yeah. Well, of course, I got this magnet and I had to get the 5K because Jackie and I did that together and we were both totally <laughs> in love with the country bears and we were so excited. And I got this coast to coast that I thought nice. was really, really cool. I really love this. Speaking of coast <coughs> to coast, I got this fantastic shirt. Uh, Becky, uh, my one friend who I did tink, yeah, there you go. You're stealing all my items. There you go. She got this after tink, and I said no, but then when I saw how cute it looked on her, I went ahead and bought it. And let's see. I didn't do the commemorative items. I just kind of like totally forgot about it. Usually I get the jacket, which Megan, you got too. So I did get one, um, and I'd show it to you, but it's in the... <laughs> It was kind of, it was kind so of cool. Pretty. The one, it was like a navy with the, the gray stripe, so I liked it. Very cool. Um, but I did get these pins. I got the 5K and I got the half marathon. I did not get the 10K because I was having one of those cheap moments. And they were totally sold out of the Dumbo Double Dare, which was, was kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. And then I got, they had sports beans for like a dollar, and then you could get... A free little sample pack with that so I got some sports beans and so did James and then I got a new Fitletic belt because my old one has been used so many times that I cannot get the smell out and plus you can see that the um, pouch can you see that is a little bit bigger now to accommodate larger phones so so I, I did like this this is my favorite type of belt. I use it every single time I run and you have attachments that you can put on water bottles or a camera case that I actually use to store goo and chapstick and tissues. So that was my expo haul. And then in the parks, I mostly bought beer and food and snacks, which, oh my goodness, we are going to have an amazing stuff. snacks video coming up. I am so excited about that. We kind of went on this mission to find the best snacks. So we'll be showing that later on so be sure to subscribe so you can see that that i did pretty good this year i didn't Great. go too crazy now brooke if brooke was here she did buy the dooney and burke bag which uh -huh. was actually cuter i when i saw the picture the picture that they posted was really crappy did you guys see it, it she got a wristlet yeah so she she likes the bracelets i'm gonna go ahead and insert a picture now so you can see what that looked like it's very, it's very cute. It's a lot cuter in person than it was uh, online. So, Laura, you mentioned the pins, and that's a great point because every time I register for a Run Disney race, I always pre-purchase the commemorative pins. Did you? Wow, oh, man! Out. You have every race you did. You have them. They're good. Wait, hold uh, up the Dumbo one because I haven't uh, even seen it. <laughs> oh man, that's cute too. Nice. You bugger. I'll so I always pre-purchase the commemorative pins, but good to know if you ever do the coast to coast because this was my coast to coast race you don't get a coast to coast pin but you can buy one and it's essentially a mini version of the metal so i got okay. that as well that's nice so, very cool because um, the coast to coast is an accomplishment you know that's that's a pretty big deal um and this goes against everything i believe in i never i did this once and the, the race got cut in half so i, I vowed i was never going to do it again but then i thought this was going to be a one and done race for me um, and you have to buy them. <laughs> you have to buy them before you start, and it's the I did it shirt. And the, the thing I and I got the Dumbo, um, the one, the, the the Dumbo Double Dare shirt. That's nice. Because then on the back, it also gives you the course, which I think is kind of cool. Oh, that's lovely. Is that cotton, Rob, or is that uh, what is that? So it's not something you're gonna work out in. It's just something for wearing around. Um, but it's it's really cool. And I learned on this one. Um, you can actually purchase these after the race at the ESPN zone. Yeah. And they made the comment that they will even personalize them by imprinting your time on them, which none of us wanted to do. <laughs> Nobody wants to see that we ran a half marathon in three plus hours. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> but you know, they are great commemoratives. If it's your first one, I definitely think you should do it. I know it's a little worrisome when they say, you know, you've got to buy it before you actually run it. You know, and I'm, you know, if you're superstitious or something bad happens, you're going to be ruined. But 
I will say, as a guy, I don't get as excited for these expos because I feel like they're very female heavy uh, in in the in the goods. And I don't know if anybody agrees with me. I'd love to hear some thoughts on that. Um, but I, I think they definitely skew female. Um, I don't see a lot of things there. I will say one of the things I was really looking for. Uh, my wife loves the um, uh, the bamboo race shirts, uh, running shirts. Um, what's the name of the company? Uh, Roth, Roth, Roth Reds. Roth Reds. But they were very limited in the uh, sizes they had with their styles. And they had a bunch to choose from, but the sizes were kind of limited. But they do have a website, rothreds.com. I definitely think you should check them out. They come highly recommended for my nice wife. shirts. Very yeah. comfortable. They, they come in uh, tank tops and in regular short sleeve. Um, so they're, they have a lot of stuff. Plus they have other things like um, headbands and scarves and all that stuff as well. Um, but very good designs, very unique stuff. Uh, but again, as a guy... I don't see a lot there for me. Uh, I don't go crazy. I mean, I like the New Balance running shoes they do. I just feel like, you know, two hundred dollars for shoes I would never wear running. Right. <laughs> you know, I, right. I, you know, I want to put them up on my shelf and just never touch them. You know, and that's, and they're usually kind of a process to get. You have to kind of, you know, pre-register for them. You know, to get a spot in line, and it, it's kind of a process, but. Um, that about wraps up our video for this evening. If you were at the expo and want to share what you got that we didn't necessarily cover or you love what we got and want to see how can I get that, um, feel free to comment, ask some questions. We'll be happy to respond to them. If you like this video, please subscribe. Um, give us a thumbs up. We will be, <laughs> we will be uh, sharing more about not just the expo but 10K and the half and the experience overall. So they are coming up in the very near future and hope you liked it. Have a joyful day. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. I'm sorry. Okay, Whoa! That. That's my <laughs> outro there, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I would get one out of you if we waited long Take enough. All right. Hey, it's Rob, and welcome to this week's Joyful on the Run. And this weekend, we are fresh off wait, wait, of the... Wait, wait, you said Joyful on the Run, honey. I did. You said Joyful on the Run. I am just giving me a plethora of material for the blooper reel. All right. So. Megan, I think we're good for the outro, right? Anybody else have anything? The, the crickets are chirping. I think we're good. <laughs>